like a real plague, impossible to remove without, I guess, lots of sweeping deaths. <laughs> uh, it's plug and plague again. You know, I don't really know why this thing won't get retired, but I just keep getting more and more of these things. So I have a couple at the moment. What I'm going to show you tonight, I think, is going to be very, very quality. It's LexiBook again. And it's uh, sent by Steve Scribbles, who sent me some other LexiBook. He made a four-page cheat sheet with every game. Like, ones that I've played already are grayed out. All right? But the ones I haven't played that are, like, extreme infringement, that's here. Right here on this piece of paper. The effort that Steve went through. Thank you so much, Steve. Um, and then maybe we'll we'll spang it up after this. And just to let you know that we have a, a quality DOS showcase after after this segment. After. So please stick around for that if you want. Lower your expectations. But get ready for extreme disappointment. Wait, that's not the image I wanted to show you. This is. So this is the LexiBook Retro TV Game Console. I've done LexiBook's products before, and they are some of the most... I'd say they steal some of the most shit. They're some of the funniest. Uh, and they've gotten just progressively worse every time I played one. So I think we're going to be having a lot of fun tonight with this one. I, that's what I think. I hope it's true, and if not, well, we can all go fuck ourselves. You may notice a horrible, horrible noise. I can't get rid of that. This cheap-ass console has a terrible buzz noise built into it, so you're just, um... Gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> Okay, so I've not played this. Um, I'm going to be referring to this piece of paper through the... Wow! The first game, and here we are! <laughs> oh my god, where do I begin? Wow. Uh, so, Oates and Hadley, they're in a different category, fine, but then you have Michael and John, two of the most common names ever. Dick is slightly above cum, which has to be intentional. And then Mick, which is, you know, a nickname for Michael, so you have double Michael. Maybe a little something else under there. And then Yuyun? Yuyun? I've never heard that before. Good. Um, the controller has a turbo built in. I don't understand. Wait, I really don't understand. I don't know which... So, um, there's B and A button on the controller. B also has a turbo, A has a turbo. Those do not work for dog race. Also, that poor dog looks like it's on death's doorstop. Step. Vinny didn't even comment on the bear in the beginning. What bear? There's a bear? Oh, the bear with the gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean... At this point... Like, when you have names like that... And, like, oppressive Soviet music... Or whatever the fuck that was... You don't notice the bear. It's like that experiment, you know, where people don't focus on what's going on in the background because they're too busy focused on, like, people playing basketball in the foreground. Um, Lexi book is amazing. 
I almost retired this segment a couple times, but... Oh boy, we got a lot of fun tonight. I'm gonna lower this. It's a little bit. Some, like, really terribly piercing noises. But that's to be expected. Very peculiar music that I've never heard before. You played it before, okay? So I think I've played this one before. Yep. It's, like, kind of emulated, though. Like, some... What an ugly game. Yeah, I've played this, but... The music is, um... Really bad, the perspective is really bad. I mean, how do you fucking... What am I shooting? Like, I didn't know planes could shoot spears. What am I shooting? Like, spikes? Uh, pikes, rather? Um, uh, rebar? Green rebar. It just hurts to look at. If I skip one, it's because Stee, who is extremely pragmatic and, um, hardworking, has listed here that I've already played it. So that's why... I'm skipping Arrow Engine. If I skip any other game names, that means I've played them in previous plug-and-plays. So, uh, expect a bunch of skips. Okay, this is Air Blast. Sky Mission. This sounds familiar. You know, there's probably going to be games that I, I've played that I'm going to play again tonight by accident that I will not have remembered playing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? an Advance War sprite. It's like a lot crustier than Advance Wars. Look at the movement speed. E. Someone in chat just said E for existential crisis. Oh man. Oh, we got obstacles. But I don't have enough ammo. And you can't really do anything without ammo. What the fuck was that? What poor misguided creature of this earth came up with the concept for that game? And then it was greenlit. Well, it's just Lexi book. Um, Air Circus. Oh, al already clowns? Uh, what? Are they bleeding? Oh, I don't like this. Are they going into the dumpster where they belong? I am vaguely uncomfortable during this. I feel like this entire plug-and-play, there's something sinister. Maybe this is trying to mine, even though it's not connected to the internet, it's trying to mine, like, Bitcoin. Or it's trying to start, like, a drug ring. Or maybe, like, they smuggle drugs in the console. And this is all just a cover for, like, what I'm going to find out is a very, very illegal machine. And probably, like, a couple of other illegal things that I, I... Oh. All right, well, that's clown game. First page done. Again, if I skip, it's intentional. What, what does this tell you? What, what does this communicate to you? You know, like as a title screen, as an intro screen. What are you, what are you getting from this? Oh, it's a puzzle game. Is it a puzzle game? 
That's some crusty-ass graphics, though. So wait, am I a devil shooting tridents at an angel? Huh. Cat heads, boats, arrows. They're not tridents like pitchforks, you know? I mean, they look like tridents, but I, you know, I guess... Oh, I, I have a... Apparently I have a gun now. How do I use the gun? Christmas. This is Christmas time? I'm trying to... Figure out how to use the gun. Carrot or a hot dog, or is that a n neither of those things? A shoe? Was it a 747? An orange 747? What the fuck was that? Was it a shrimp? I still don't know how to use the gun. Oh, I figured it out. And it yeah, it just shoots bullets. It, you have to press down, and you know what? I don't know how I did that. Okay, that's enough of that. I feel like it was conditioning me. You will kill... ...angels. Boy, animal contest. They vaguely look like animals, yes. I expect less. And the volume of these games just varies very wildly. There's notes, um... There are notes for this game. It says, I don't understand. That's what Stee wrote in the notes for this one. Yeah, that makes all of us. Really painful music. I'm gonna skip this now. One of the nice things about this is that when I press the menu button, which is on the controller, it just takes you back to where you were last. I'm gonna say... ...that that's really convenient for a shitty plug-and-play. Because there are ones where you have to, like, actually hit reset on the console. Or ones where you hit reset, or you turn it off and turn it back on, and then you have to go... ...from the first menu... ...all the way to where you were. So, thank God... ...LexiBook finally figured out... ...how to make my streams better. Animal Pool. Okay, they're dead. Why would you ever need Animal Crossing when you have Animal Pool? Nintendo, get on this one! Wait, are they swimming? Is that- is that like... They're swimming, but they're just walking on water. They're like Jesus animals. Also, that cat on the right there. Those three cats on the right. That could totally be an emote. Time over. Ant and B. So this is... Wait a minute. Didn't I just play this? Like a shittier looking version of it? What the fuck? They're remaking games? On the same console? But it's a different concept this time. I mean, the gun is still there. I mean, I think that's a shoe, or it could be a pepper. Or like, a, I think it's a genie shoe. Like, Waluigi shoes. Same game. It still says Christmas. Except it says 
Xma. Don't dead open inside, please. Thank you. Okay, then. The next two I played. Um, so we're going to skip those. Again, if you've not watched every plug and play, you're, you're not missing much. But if you really want full completion, watch previous Lexibook streams. Alan, Joy, Leon. Um, I'm going to be Alan. Yeah, I don't know, man. Something disturbing about this. Music is extra crusty. Like, a little scummy, too. You know, it's warbly. Um, really cheap sounding. Yeah. I don't really know where I, I... I think I... Okay, this is that car game. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not very good at the car game. But, yeah, you move the cars, and it's it's a traffic jam thing. You have to get the thing out of traffic. It, it's not my high point. <laughs> uh, number 15. I've done this one already. Here's Baby Arms. Oh, man. I am so happy I didn't fully retire Plug and Plague. Could you imagine... If we didn't have this, the world wouldn't be as good. So, I guess it's it's a baby versus a like a baby Charizard. Baby human versus baby Charizard. Speep bubble. Sorry, Charmander. Ba <laughs> it's a freshly birthed Charmander. How did Charmanders get birthed anyway? I don't know. The rules of this game are very confusing, but I think you have to just shoot the fire over. I'm trying to get killed so I can get a game over screen, and I can't do it. I can't even, like, have the game end... Yes, the bad smell air. Very good. Uh, I, I give up. Bake pancakes. We're gonna bake pancakes with chopsticks. Um, in this... Definitely not Cooking Mama re uh, remake in Fringerino. Sounds disgusted. Like, Ugh! minus two, plus ten. Oh, look at that! There's a whole other. They turn into eggs. That's how you know when it's done. When it becomes an egg. Thank you, Cooking Mama. I'm sure you were. Um, I'm sure you were put here with your permission. So. Wow, it's a worse version of the previous game. <laughs> with, wor I'm sorry. with worse sound effects, worse graphics, or as it's listed here on the paper, a bootleg of a bootleg. Golden. No end. <laughs> the game never ends. Ball center. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. It's me, your old pal, Mr. Ball. I'm getting real swole lately, Douglas. You want to play with my ball center? Gee, Mr. Dink, I, I don't know what's happening. Don't worry about it, Douglas. 
That's just my egg! That's right! You're trying to use... ...the seed to germinate my egg! Gee, Mr. Dink, that sounds kinda gross. No, it's life, Douglas! It's natural! I didn't know you could have children, Mr. Dink. <sighs> Awful rushing. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh wait, no, okay, never mind, I was on the wrong page. <laughs> I was like, wow, the game name is accurate. Shitty, weird dodgeball with like Dragon Ball elements. Okay, it's like you can like clack the balls. Okay, good enough. Look how many ball games there are. Play with balls forever if you want. Hey, Douglas, look! My egg! It's been upgraded! I should point out that the controls for this, I get what you have to do. The controls are barely responsive. Not that you'd expect anything good out of a plug-and-play, but in this particular case, it's awful and confusing, and it should stop. It's really, I mean, it's, you know, it's whatever. It just wasn't working well. Maybe it was just the controller? Oh, we're getting a lot of, um, duplicates. Of quote-unquote original games. This time it's just animals. Blue bunny versus monkey. Same game as before. Balloon... man... The fuck? What, what what this shit? Hang on a minute, let me read this. Shitty balloon fight with shit music. Get the balloons, avoid the stars. Okay, but you can't really... play the game. You can't, like, paddle. You can't, like, go up on purpose. Oh, this music. This nice eight-second loop. Fail. Basketball. Okay, they can't fuck up basketball, can they? <laughs> yep. Y you bet they can fuck up basketball. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> thank, thank you for the turbo button, Lexibook. <laughs> it's like a fucking machine gun! <laughs> Holy fuck! This, this isn't beat the birds, this is fucking destroy birds. And it was so loud, too. Okay, 
Big racing. Scene one. Very slow, I know. Let's get, get on with it. Is it just me, or does my car look almost like an, uh, like a red rocket? Oh, man. Oh, uh, here comes the Theta Wave conditioning. You will eat pant after the stream. That's what it's telling you. It looks like an ant mixed with a red rocket ship. Got a turn coming up. There's a big turn. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't corrupted? This is going to become the new museum if anything goes. Watch. What a horrible song. I've never heard a worse fucking 8-bit song. Or 8-bit approximation song. Oh, yes I have. It's this one. This music isn't quite as bad as the title screen, but it's still pretty fucking bad. Man. I give up. I just want to hear the- I just want to hear the music one more time. It is a clean version of the worst song of all time. Enjoy. Fun yet? All right, my lucky number is forty six. Bingo Zap. Is this like the next generation of Bingo? game where you fight against the controls. There's barely anything to do, barely any obstacles. Your only obstacle, your own controls. Ready? Go! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so good. Okay, so this is a bit of a WarioWare ripoff, kind of. But look, look at the tongue going mental. This bird is not okay. This bird has got like some fucking severe parasite or toxoplasmosis thing happening. Yeah, this, this bird is straight up, like, yeah, I'm sorry, it's got, it's got a parasite. I'm ready. Um... Wow. Ooh, fucking wow. This is a concept and a half for a video game, so you're, you're a severed hand attached to a bird's anus. Collect the eggs, but not the kuso. I, I don't know why the severed hand would be there in the first place, but I'm not one to question these things, and I, I know not the way of the world. Birds protect. So, mini bird game. This almost looks like a video game. Almost plays like one, too. <laughs> oh, shit! Bad smell buzzard. Also, I th think that... M bird cycle, the animation cycle, almost looks like it's ripped off of Super Mario Bros. 2. I don't know if that's true. I don't want to tell tales at a school here, but... It just... What the fuck? What happened? I wasn't even... I wasn't anywhere near that. What the fuck is going on? I don't know! Did I not feed my child? So again, the music gets real crusty. It's a shooter, but you're building things. Oh, no, I, I have no idea. It's like Karth, you have to make a cube. I don't know what that means, and I don't want to make a cube. I don't like that. Well, it's, it's this. I'm arc annoyed that there would be a breakout game on here. I'm an arc annoyed, annoyed, uh, whatever. Is that a punch out sound effect? Like a modified bootleg punch-out sound effect? Also, Stee lists- this is, uh... Uh, the kid has an invisible cigarette up top there, but... Um, this reminds me of Wario's Woods, but bad. Generic block games told to skip. 
Bolt Fighter I've played. Uh, you are a cat that moves blocks. <laughs> and trees. Wow, I'm already getting the thousand yard stare. I'm like looking through these games. Bomber friend. Yep, it's- it's Bomber Boy. Where you must kill Kirby. <coughs> There's so many of these games that I'm not gonna be playing through most of them for very long. Okay, so this is 4D Pong. So I'm just playing Pong. Like, alone. With, like, varying ball speeds. Okay. The music gets kind of crusty. When you hit pause. Uh, hang on a minute. That crab looks familiar. I don't know what it's from, but it looks very familiar. Okay, again, these sound like NES sound effects from, like, Jackal and Operation Wolf and shit. Contra. Dun, 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 dun. Such a fucking violent sound effect. Oh yeah, I played this one. <laughs> Definitely played this one. <laughs> yeah, the reverse fish killing game. Still a classic concept. Where you shoot blebs. It's the precursor to Splatoon. I've definitely played blub bubble Blubble Blaster for sure. Um... Looking at the notes... I'm gonna skip ahead. Is this like... Village People Mario? Oh, I played- I played this! <laughs> yep, yep, you can jump! But then you like, break your car when you jump. So much fun. Burbles. Reskinned bubbles. Oh yeah, then I I played this one too. <laughs> they didn't like call it anything army related. They just called it burbles. Awesome.
This one, uh, the notes are said, uh, the notes are saying, rather, that it's nothing of interest, and I agree. <laughs> oh my god. Violent. What happened? It is a really bad version of Pac-Man. Obviously, I don't need to say that, but it really, really bad version of Pac-Man. Slow and awful cash in, I would say. Bob Shop. Step right up, get your Robertsons here. Ah. Today. Ready? Go! A store where a sausage could be on the same shelf as toilet paper. And I think that's a jolly. I think that one right there, that's a jolly. This is bacon. That's it. That's that's the whole game. That's cash in. Catch the egg. Worst controls ever. You need some precision. You tap left and you hold it for like a millisecond and you're already halfway across the level. I'm just reading the paper here. A lot of these are going to be skips. The next couple pages are mostly skips, so I'm, I'm going to... For the interest of our sanity and for the stream's duration, I'm going to be skipping. And I'm only going to go for the green ones at the moment, which is uh, definitely play. So, for example, climbing. Clowning? You want me to check out the clowning game? Yeah, I can do that. Climbing, climbing, climbing! Yo, am I setting this building on fire? Pumping. Gotta avoid the bad weather clouds. Oh, I can. I like the way you thrust, Vegeta. Clowning hit. It's whack-a-mole with clowns, isn't it? Yep. Man, I, this is like a very violent anti-clown stream. The word of the day is violent. Now picture this, you have a D-pad. There's four directions on a D-pad, but you have to figure out how to... You have to figure out how to kill all the clowns with only four directions. It gets a little dicey. And yes, Turbo Smash is helpful.
Yep, more plain game. <laughs> Code Eagle. It says here that this one's actually competent. Mixes elevators with dungeon crawling and spelunking. That music was very familiar. Oh yeah, and this music too, we've heard this plenty. This is one of those, like, theme songs. Like, if Plug and Play get a theme song, this could be one of them. I think it's gotta be... <laughs> the pool game, though, the billiards game, or should I call it Beward? Yeah, it's kind of competent. You go around and avoid things and collect golden wrenches, and or is that a bone? I think it's a wrench. It's fine. Next. That's familiar. It says I might have played this one. It's, um... A candy satanic ritual. Conquer South Pole. This could have been an SNES or a Genesis mascot, easily. It's fucking Croc's early days. Just after Croc worked that job at, like, washing ditch uh, dishes? Yeah, ditches! You know what? Croc watch watched ditches for a living. Not washed dishes, watched ditches. Just to make sure. Just to make sure they didn't go anywhere. That was before he was a video game star. And then he did this for a little while. So, man, that's kind of brutal what I'm doing to these penguins. I get what I have to do. I have to collect the pyramids, but in order to do so, I have to murder the penguins and turn them into platforms. Also, the controls are atrocious. I wanna run through your crazy garden. Is that a place to find you? I'm gonna burn. Just more whack a mole. People are doing the. Well, the emote. For that voice, it's it's incorrect. That was a Stone Temple Pilots thing. Move the babies who have waken up in the yellow prams out of the nursery under the condition that the other babies will not be waken up. Wow. The baby will cry if he waits too long, so you can us the objects you own to make he happy, and <laughs> don't make he wake up other sleeping babies before you take he out. The way that text is set up, it's so fucking hard to read and I don't know why. Oh, it's this fucking thing again. And it's the same layout as that other game. Why was there a story for this? There most certainly did not need to be a story for this.
Did it say lever one? Did I miss that? I gotta go back and see that. Hang on a minute. Lever one? <laughs> How did I miss that? Yeah, that perspective. The thrill. The thrill of the car. <laughs> oh shit! I get it. It's pretty generic. It's fine. A little bit of a disappointment for number 69, however. Definitely not Popeye the Sailor Man. Good game. All right, next is. Let's see. Again, I'm skipping a lot because they've been done or they're just really boring and not worth it. Holy shit. This... This music. The music sounds like a two-second loop of a Primus song. Yes, it does. Now, Johnny was a race car driver back in old Detroit. He said hello, and I said, uh, back in the long dude on the doit. One day I'll write lyrics to that. I'll figure it out. Jimmy was an old school driver. He went down to Amsterdam. Okay, hang on a minute. It's Bob Shop again. But with <laughs> like an extremely long arm. Pleasure cube. Do you see the pleasure cube? It is the most desirable of all items. Just trying to beat the shit out of my customers real quick. Here we go. For our own sanity, it's best I skip as many games as I'm skipping based on Steve's notes. I trust him. I mean, he's the king of the Lexi book. Wait a minute, what? Why are the boulders falling? Wait, wait a minute. That's not how physics works. I'm just trying to mow some grass. It's like a shitty dig dug, but here's the worst part. The boulders should not be doing that. Wow. What the fuck is perspective anyway? Down to 100. Who made it? Doesn't matter. Cut off. Why is my dude a cat? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? A stray cat man tries to avoid death. 
Do you adopt him? Yeah, this is just... It's Fallout, but worse. Down to 100, they say. This is a skip. Tetris, but you can shoot bombs. Okay. Is this a member of the Yoshi family? Or the, the Yoshi genus? Like, I want to know what subspecies of Yoshi is this. Is this. Where, where did the um, evolutionary tree deviate? Like, maybe this Yoshi grew up on Choco Island? You Chat, you know if I said genus, people would start being like, Haha, he almost said penis. Oh, fuck. Wait, you're gonna do that now, aren't you? Shit. Dump lorry race? What the fuck did Lori do to anybody? Don't dump Lori. Oh man, it's the swole chicken again. I've definitely seen this one. Or have I? Was there another swole chicken? Look at this fucking ch chicken strutting around, shitting eggs out. This is a prize-winning chicken. This... is the cock of the walk. Okay, we're gonna go to the next green one. The one that's listed as me having never played it, and worth playing. A key jump up. Oh. Like A. Press A to jump. Fuck. Jump up for dodging barrier according to the time point. <laughs> oh, that, that's such a needlessly convoluted sentence for just jump over the boxes. That's it. This... it's like almost Game & Watch quality of game. Alright then. Apparently I've played a lot of versions of this. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah. Treasure grabber. I don't know why some of these are so fucking loud. I really don't. Holy fuck. I think that clown's tongue is damaged. Again. 
insane volume discrepancy. Like, I did not lower this. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I get it. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to get to level 2, according to the paper, so I'm gonna do that. Cool sound effect. That is in another game. I don't know what game it's in, but I've heard that sound effect before on the NES. So when did, um, Eggplant become, like, a cock in emoji form. Always from the beginning? Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, sure. Astounding. Yes. Now, level two, here we go. Stage two, lever two. There's absolutely nothing interesting about this. Except that it doesn't work. Oh, wait, those are different things. <laughs> wait a minute! That penguin is, is awfully familiar. See, there's a slight difference. Uh, don't worry about it. That was a waste of a lot of time. Fantastic Farm. That's number 96. It's a lawnmower game. Then you have... Farm Pinball, which is Infringerinos. Oh my god, yeah, there's some Infringerinos right here. Rattler! Look at that! On the right! That's from fucking Zelda! I think the mushrooms might be infringed upon as well, but I don't know. But yeah, there's plenty of Minish Cap infringement. The shrooms too. Yeah, the statue, the pots, um, I don't know if the cats are, but let's just say the cats probably are, because this game, of course, would not... Stop, why would you stop at the statue? If you're gonna go for the statue, you already cre you already stole something very recognizable from Minish Cap, so why not steal the cats? Fast Race, what a... Fucking exciting game title. Something's just a little bit off about that car, and I don't know what it is. Danger. It's a really fucking intense explosion. So it says danger, and then everything that's sentient in the area, every vehicle just tries to destroy you. It's amazing. 
It says here, um, possibly stolen sprites from Digimon. Is that you, Desert? I don't know what this is. I think I just have to match three. No, that's just a bonus. I have to kill the germs. Yeah, <laughs> take a look at its ass! Oh no. oh no. Okay, we've got... ...lots of skips here. Until we get to <laughs> Firefight Bro. Who are these bros? These bros look familiar. Yeah, Mario! I mean, uh, and, uh, John! Uh, oh, we're gonna save the, 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 the things that have fallen from there, you know? Also, this is clown game from earlier. It's Mark and Lawrence, that's our names! Or, or check this out, it's a very young, newly adolescent Mario and Luigi, before they could grow a mustache, doing local good deeds. You know, they didn't have their signature hats yet. Which, you know, may as well explain the origin of the fucking hat Zelda did. So there's like a bunch of fish games, like there's this. Those are seals. Can't let the fish win. Okay, and then apparently there's this one with worse music. Why would they do this? Why would they put the two of the same game? Oh yeah, I've played this one. This is Balloon Fight. More or less. Balloon fight with fish. What the hell? This was really unexpected. This hardware appears so crusty, but then it can do a game like that. Like, granted, I don't want to play the game, but for hardware this shitty, the fact that that even works and looks like that, it's pretty impressive, I'll say. Um, five days, I probably have played this. It's listed that I've played this. Yep. Oh yeah, many times. This is a turret game. Down to the shitty music. Just like they buy these games in bulk. Flame Beetles.
What? Wait, have I played this one already? It's familiar. It's just confusing. You played this one and had the same exact reaction? I knew that was going to happen at some point. This one is kind of like a skip. It's soccer with a robot. That's all. Reskins, and then you have a uh, football kid. Okay, hang on a second. I don't get points for scoring a goal, but I get points... Wait, 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 wait. I get points for hitting children. And energy! What the fuck? Oh, what was that, dude? That's it. I'm calling the cops. This game... This plug-and-play... ...is hot garbage. That's the game that should be in the news. When they shit on video games for being violent. Holy shit. It is exactly Fruit Ninja. But all the fun of actually, you know, splitting the fruit with motion controls, well, that's not really fun for me, but, you know, if that's for some reason something you like to do, good for you. But, this is even less fun. It's like, how do we do touch controls? Thank you, touch controls. How do we do Fruit Ninja in 2D side-scroller form? Oh, we make it not fun. This one is the weirdest one yet, according to Stee. Is that Heifer from Rocco's Modern Life? Whoa! Hey, Rock! It's me, Heifer Rock! I don't remember what he sounds like. It was something like that. Bleb. Hey, Rock! I'm gonna be a phone sex operator, Rocco! I, I think I'm losing the heifer. So, we've learned to hit children with soccer balls and abduct animals with claws. Lexibook teaching us valuable life lessons through video games. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of skips. I'm just reading these. Uh, let's see... One... Here's one with bad music. It's almost a given. Shocking. Let's see. We have to move on to... There's one here that's... Maybe boring, but worth a little bit of a look. Ghostbuster? Can't tell if these assets are stolen. Fail? Bustin', 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 bustin'.
not the worst game on the fucking Lexi book, that's for sure. When you're all alone, and you're feeling good, who you gonna bust? Okay, lots of reskins coming up. Oh, now's a good time for me to plug my new video, Burger Coon. If you want to see me make burger, it's on my YouTube channel. Enjoy. You might enjoy that better than this, actually. All right, now, Devin went down to Georgia. He was looking for some golf to play. He shot a hole and drilled a mole and ate himself. I don't know. I'm not good on the spot. I'm not freestyle. No shit. So there's some graphics. Uh, you can't actually change the direction. You just have to hit the goddamn ball. And like, good luck trying to figure out how far away from you it is. And yeah, there's some music that isn't just, you know, your usual NES approximation, headache-inducing ear piercers. Okay, it's time to pop. I just want to hear one more loop. No one should be clapping after that. <laughs> Where did they get this music anyway? I would say royalty free, but it's most certainly not something they cared about when making this. This is another game. City Connection. There's like multiple layers of infringements here. You got like music infringement, you got game infringement. <laughs> Fucking exploded. All right, let me refer to my handy sheet of paper. You know, there's lawnmower games. I've played a lot of these in previous plug and plagues. Uh, you have more whack-a-mole with hamsters, more shitty puzzle games, but then you have... That cow looks sick. God. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, they very, very are uh, much are reminiscent of rabbits. Game over. Okay, that's enough of that. Same music? 
the description for this is there is a mouse and it is all very confusing. Yep. Yep. It's like kind of a Rube Goldberg machine, but, but bad. Uh-oh, too much egg. Oh no, the mouse is covered with egg. I, I get it, you have to like, make... I, I don't really get it actually, never mind. You have to transfer the egg. Oh, I see. Into food substance, right, checkered food substance. That sounds familiar. Billiards has a fucking competition with this music. Has a competitor, rather. I just destroy some chewable vitamins. This music is pretty, pretty rough. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. a bunch of harmless birds with a fucking machine gun. Yeah, piece of ass. Yeah, piece of cake. Imp and cubes. So who's this friendly ghost? They, I'm just saying they seem friendly compared to other ghosts I've seen in fiction. Wouldn't you agree? As far as puzzle games go, it's... it's fine. something going on here. Zero Pant Casper. So there's a bunch of reskins of the same games over here. Then you have Clown Juggling Game. Here we go! Good luck. Is that a beard, or is he just painting his mouth yellow? Also, uh, I believe this is Skip to Malu on, like, speed. How they explode. Tennis, but with puzzle. Oh shit, Mario Tennis! 
Well, it's easier than Mario Tennis, but you have no idea if you're hitting the ball. No tennis racket is visible. There's no feedback other than ball is hit. Also, those panels are magic. Yeah, these panels do not have three sides. I don't like this. Bunch of garbage and generic shit and... I mean, you can just tell by the pictures. By the way, Really nice that this has a picture of the games, so you can look at the picture and you can be like, Oh, I know what that is. So I don't even have to stream all of these because they're just, you know... They're just... <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Is that Toad? That's Toad? And that was a Goomba! Holy shit. Just slap a sleeping cap on Toad. They won't know. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Trying to go in the house. Oh, the Goomber has to go into the house. What the fuck? What the hell are you doing? I get it. I get it now, finally. And that was only the tutorial level, holy shit. Oh, we got more infringement from Dr. Mario this time. Thanks, I'm good. Little plane. <laughs> Wait, am I a plane? In space? This is like that paper airplane game that's on so many of these fucking plug and plays. I like it better when the plane crashes. I'm sorry, the spaceship. The red spaceship with a face. Assorted games? Wait a minute. So there's an overworld. It's an auto scroller, right? You're a penguino, you have to collect bananas, which I didn't know penguins liked bananas. Just mash everything together, whatever you got. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you got? Fruit? Yep, you do banana, that's fine. What what are who's our hero? Penguin? You got that sprite? You've been working on that sprite for a while and you want to throw it in the game? Sure, slap it in. Is it just me, or do the coconut trees look like asses? Like, chunky ass. Wait a minute. This is a minigame collection?
inside another game? Wait, it's so it's a mini game collection inside a mini game collection. I wasn't paying attention. I was definitely not paying attention. After a while, I stopped looking at it. Alright, then that's enough of that. <clears throat> Someone said go to the hand. Alright, fine. I'm not going to expect anything special, but we're going to go to the hand. It's... Rock, paper, scissors, but there's... <laughs> Wait a minute. Doesn't having four kind of defeat the thing a little bit? Okay, so this is stolen from Wario's Woods. Let's start with the obvious. And then... Wait a minute. Are the scissors... Okay, no, never mind. Those are two of the same thing. I was thinking it was two different scissors, but those are two of the same thing. I was like, what makes left scissor stronger than right scissor, but... I was wrong. Uh, we're just gonna keep on moving, and we're gonna... Again... Avoid a lot of the ones that I've either played already, or the ones that are extremely boring. Pretty sure I played that one already. It's, it says here, oh, okay, you played a version of this. Sprite is in Fringerino, and it says Infringerino in red. So that's not good, but I don't know who's getting infringed upon. Me we golf? <laughs> what does that say? It's supposed to say mini golf. I thought it was a reference to the Me we console that I played. It's almost functional. Ogi. Did they, they do bogeys in mini golf? I don't remember. They do. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> See now I'm I'm suspicious of everything. Reality gets slightly skewed when you play a console like this. What is this music? Why do I know this music? What is this? This is Little Mermaid music, isn't it? I wonder if Disney's gonna take down my fucking video now. Also, what is it with these games? There's so many egg games. Chicken shits egg, you must catch egg. Over and over and over and over again. Puyan, this one is. <laughs> Some really intense sound effects. Oh no, I- Oh, I got fucking ganked! Oh, 
buff Kirby Returns. With the side note that I might have played this one already. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even know where I am anymore. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Nice alpaca to the right. Oh, wait, no, that's a camel. Never, <laughs> never mind. Hey, Nintendo doesn't own the idea of a, a puffball with a face. I guess they kind of do. But then they infringe upon their own concept with Jigglypuff. I actually fear the idea of Googling Jigglybuff. It just occurred to me and then I was like, wait a minute, don't do that. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. You know what? I have to do it. Okay. My instincts were correct, and I should have never Googled Jigglybuff. If you want to see more fun, you should go ahead and Google that. Oh, here's a good one. What the fuck is that? Oh, Jigglybuff is lost in the muscles. I get it now. Interesting. Alright. I hate the internet. I hate the internet. Let's continue. Let's continue. Wow, animations. Stato! But Vinny are on the internet. I blame society. Mr. Mosquito. Okay. Whose hand could this be, I wonder? Well, it is time to kill Gonzos. I like how they become the Doom Marine. Crust. Extreme crust noises. Mr. Onion. Mr. Onyat. This is the exact same fucking game with a different background. Why are we doing this again? Actually, I know exactly why, because this is a 301 game console. Remember that. That's advertising. 300 looks a lot better than 299. But 299 looks a lot better than 300 when it comes to the price point. Mr. Onion. I like that bootleg Kirby is called Mr. Onion. So it's this dude again. <laughs> oh 
Oh no! That's, that's a very crushing death. Stack rings. Oh yeah, I've played that. Plane shooting. Those are missiles, right? Okay. I thought they were the majestic ground dicks of the Cliffs of Dover. Mr. Driller looking bootleg. It's kind of a game. It's kind of fun to watch the things fall. And, like, cause tremendous chain reactions that don't stop forever. And then to get swallowed. Oh, wait a minute, never mind, they don't last forever. Nutcracky. Wait a minute. Wait, I've definitely played Nutcracky, haven't- Sav says. Oh yeah, I've played this. Big swole mice. Like, massive fucking unit mice. Alright. Ogreish flower? Uh, pale Kirby with piranha plants. The, again, the same game I've played. There are so many repeats and reskins of the same games. This was the fucking shitty Pac-Man clone from earlier. Poor Kirby is going to have to sue someone after this stream. Music sounds familiar. There's a spider from Kirby. So, what what other infringements are there? Apparently there's lots of infringement going on here. I mean, aside from the fact that it's just Pac-Man. Bomberman snakes. I wouldn't be surprised if most of that was stolen from someplace else or just modified slightly, but it says here, I like the description, it's like Pac-Man, but you collect purple. Not that you're, you're trying to turn everything white or get rid of the purple panels or like the purple uh, scum on the floor or whatever it is. No, you just collect purple. Good description, Steve. Here you go. Next is Pet Shop. I've played this one, right? Yeah, I've played this one. This was in... I mean, this was in something. I don't remember what it was in, but it was in something. Stolen Tom and Jerry.
Wow, is this a game? topple real soon. There it goes. Oh wait, no, it's still it's still here. The fuck are physics anyway? I kinda wanted to see how tall I could get it, but and who who is this? The king? Who is this king? Why is he crying? It's amazing that something like that, after playing the preceding 200 games, well, you know, skipping around, that that would be considered a good game after all this. That's kind of where my Stockholm Syndrome is right now for this plug-and-play game where you are a ball that has new graphics. Here we go, ping pong. It's like the tennis game where you can't actually see the paddle. You know, I have another plug and play that has a camera, kind of like the eye toy. Love. One. Right. That's good, thank you. Um, I have one like that. That's not happening tonight, but it looks delightfully shitty. Okay, now we've got lots of infringement on the way. Vinny, you already made a video with that one. Yes, but there's another one. It's the Earthbound Dog, is that what that is? It's King! don't understand what's happening here. I get two moves, but there are four panels. Or three. Oh, you have to turn them all pink. Holy shit! Now, I think I've played this one before, but the fact that both King and Ness are on this plug-and-play, and they're both right next to each other, there's something, like, really nefarious about this. Like, they knew what they were doing, and they're trying to send a message, like, we don't give a fuck. that bird was from Earthbound, but you know what? May as well be. So, <laughs> uh, robot nipples, anyone? Kiss my metal Robertsons. It says here in the description, some in bold red letters, Robo Robinsons in here. 
So that's why I was told to play this game specifically for quote unquote Robo Robinsons, even though it's Robertsons, I'll forgive you, Steve, it's fine. Push the box. Man, work has been real tough to find lately, Loogie. I had to push some boxes in Egypt. this again. So, it's the match game, but with a monkey, and better graphics. Man. Really get to see the, uh, the eggplant in full detail. Also, top left, there's some good faces. Oh, no, they weren't that good. This is funny. It shouldn't be funny. is very interesting. You never know who's gonna make a cameo appearance in these plug-and-plays. You never know. You might get a penguin, you might get a moogle! It's an oomphgul, so it's totally copyright-free. It, there's, it's a, there's a difference, you can tell. It's a very different character. It says Kuso, that's what it says, instead of Kupo. This fucking thing again. And keep in mind, I'm skipping a lot, so there might be like five of these. We might have played one game that has, like, four duplicates. But, luckily, Steve has been... went through the effort of, like, making a cheat sheet so that I don't have to see every single game on here. Which has been... well, amazing. Thank you. But I can imagine there being a lot. I mean, if we're seeing this many duplicates and I'm skipping around this much, can you imagine how many there really are? If you've seen previous plug-and-play streams, then you know that's what they do. That's what they do. I mean, the music, too. Like, breadline music. I want to know the story behind all this, though. I want, I want to know who made this. I want to know if their working condi conditions were good. I want to know what orders they were given. I want to know how much they got paid. Like, I kind of want to just see the person at work making these games. It's probably really sad, actually. So, what's the infringement here? 
Is it a Pokemon sprite? People are saying it's a Pokemon sprite. Are these all Pokemon sprites? Or is this like a Game Boy Harry Potter? It's Porygon. Okay, so it's the Game Boy Color Harry Potter game mixed with Pokemon. I wouldn't be surprised if the developers of these games were just, like, so overworked and so, like, done with this shit that they were just like, we're just gonna borrow the sprites, we're just gonna take them from other games and then submit them and see what happens. And they probably got away with it most of the time. But I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Here we go again! <laughs> Dick Cum is back! My name is Dick Cum. Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? Look at- look at Mick! Look, look at the hump maneuvers! are brilliant. Wow. Those are some really fucking solid faces. It's this exact game from before, again. Oh, well, slightly different. You know how I know that? It's different. The sound effects are now like old school Konami, like war game sound effects. Meanwhile, the previous game had the Doom, like pistol sound effect. That's the only thing that's different. I love it. Music is painful. Let's see. Shitty Indiana Jones, kind of? Oh, yeah. Almost done. Old man propels himself upwards with bullets. Oh, it's this fucking thing again. Just slightly better graphics and a stanky walk animation. Okay, well, it turns out this is ammo. Dog? I don't know what's happening. a weird concept for a fucking game but it's also way better than the one that we played earlier that one was impossible
And it's nice because in case you forget what to do, the tutorial is right there on the screen at all times. Puyan again. Infringement version. Okay, where's the infringement? It's Metal Slug, isn't it? Yes, it is. Kind of. Ah! I thought it was Solid Snake at first. I feel like I need to wrap this up quickly because I'm starting to lose... I'm starting to lose sense of myself. For a minute there, I lost myself. I was just, like, reflecting on other things. My, my brain was... I was just in a different location. I wasn't here. I was not here. I'm only going for the green ones now. I'm passing on all the other ones that have uh, yellow or red. So yellow is, here's what it says on the list. Games that might be interesting are in yellow. There's 101 of those. Uninteresting bad games that were done before. There's 88 of those. And there's 91 games that would be interesting. So... But we're almost done. I'm only going for green now. We're gonna wrap this up. Shit. Oh, well, I, you know, it's an endless runner. You just can't get one of these plug and plays and hope for anything other than just like semen. So yeah, if you're gonna get an endless runner with it, may as well be decent. Also, is that Grimer? Or is that Muck, who's throwing balls at me? Sprout's Adventure. It's this again. But, with... Pokemon? It's fucking red. Same piranha plants from earlier, though. Well, it's slightly different looking, but... Why, why do we need three of the same game with different infringements? I just really want to know how that happened. Maybe they, they had the concept and they said, okay, they have like a team of like like, ten people that make games, and they said, alright, here's the concept, here's the basic programming, we need art. Whoever makes the best art, wins. And, like, three people made somewhat decent art, some stole, but that's okay, don't tell anyone. And they just said, you know what, all three of you are winners. We're gonna put all three of your games on the Lexi book. That's my best guess. Speaking of Kirby... Gee whiz. Okay, now that... is a mascot. I bet this frog gets lots of kisses underneath the moon's side boob. this fucking thing again. It's shitty balloon fight, but with no real way to control yourself. The balloons look like two pink ass. Okay, 
We've got a couple greens left, so let's let's do this. Two sixty nine. There's a fun number, right? In my head, that sounded like Jeff Goldblum, but it really isn't. Um, and it's it's a fucking it's a meth rabbit. This is a rabbit whose owner watches my streams way too much. Also, I'm pretty sure there's like a Pepe inside one of those fucking bottles. Look, there's a sad frog in there. For like one frame, you have sad frog. Barely. I mean, it's barely perceptible, but I feel like it's it's there. The rarest. Um, oh, oh, the backgrounds kind of look like Super Mario World geometry from like Choco Islands and stuff, or Choco Mountains. Oh, whatever. Super Rabbit. Possible infringement? Definitely infringement. Spider Man. Swing Fall. Here we go. Oh, it's this dude again. It's Spider Man without Spider Man. I like how this, uh, original character, Do Not Steal, sounds like a baby. It's not a- it's not really a dab, what he's doing. It's- it's not- it's in the dab family. It's more like a flex. <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? It's like that juggle game. I'm I'm bouncing like Balls, grapes with burgers? Alright, time to make that bark laugh. Burger Coon has returned. Okay. Okay, this is called Under the Sea. That's a Bort, by the way. That's definitely Bort Scampskin. Um, but... They already have the Under the Sea music. They used it in another game. Why not just use it for this one, too? Good. Oh, it's Flappy Bort. Yeah. Yeah, it's Flappy Bort. That screen tearing from the left and right, though, man. That's, that's some shit. That's the power of the Lexibook. mind. This is to me as that music in Mars Attacks is to the aliens. Oh, that was bad. Oh, it's, oh, it's terrible. Oh, man, there are so many contenders for worst song, but I still think Billiards wins. That's pretty rough. I've played that before, in a different form, probably under a different name, maybe even in a different lifetime. Maybe in a different lifetime I created that game. Who's to say past lives can't exist at the same time as your current life? There ain't no rules in the universe- well, there are actually plenty. But you never know!
lose. Pong with soccer. Speaking of jackal... This has shown up so many times. Now that's a game from my childhood that I wouldn't mind replaying at some point. It's loud and it's terrible and it's a ripoff of Jackal in the worst possible way and this... It's on so many of the plug-in plays too. So, 288. Oh my god. Okay, there's so much going on here. There's so much to unpack. One, it's the same perspective as the stolen Tom and Jerry game. Right? It's but it's plants versus zombies with little mermaid music and different gameplay. There's just so much. It's every frame is just so dense. So dense. War zone. Mr. Halo. So you send dudes to die by exploding themselves against the turret. But you have to distract the gunner. What? Well, it's, it's certainly original. Compared to the rest of this stuff. Win or lose. It's more Pong. Pong-esque. Holy shit. These balls are going mental. It's okay, this music is public domain. I think. Sea Driftage. That's an interesting- Oh god, it's another fucking balloon fight clone? It's- <laughs> It's like space balloon fight. What the fuck? What is that a futuristic umbrella? Oh, come on. They stole the same they stole the music too. And I'm pretty sure they're like half naked. I have to see the sea driftage. Yep. There you go. There you go, that's it. 
And I was told to skip this one because I've played it before, but we gotta at least see what number 300 is. Same sound effects, same shoot. A thousand shoot games on every plug and play, guaranteed, or your money back. Oh wait, no, no, you don't get your money back, sorry. Now, that is, of course, the Lexi book in full. Thank you, Stee. That was well horrifying. I don't I don't think it ever got better than Dick Come, but I enjoyed it very much. It was there's was a lot of really original good infringement on uh, on that and I appreciate you taking the effort to uh, make a list for me. It's like the Santa Claus list.